Hello everyone, welcome to Childhood Adventures. Today, I'm going to talk about what it was like to sleep in the Flying Diamond 8 from Big Agnes. Um, for me, the experience was very nice. We had a lot of fun playing board games at night. But it was quite windy. So, as you can see over there, uh, one of our stakes even got bent because of the tent pulling on it. Uh, yeah, so if it's windy weather, make sure to stake out your tent. Uh, also, you got to make sure you have a thick tarp at the bottom so that uh, no thorns or anything can go through your tent, uh, tear your tent from the bottom. And make sure to always put your rain cover on top because the UV, UV rays from the sun will make it look older. Um, also, you go, um, to have a fun night, uh, make sure that you have lots of lights in your tent. And we are actually just, we just pitched it up near our house in our backyard. So we do have running electricity. So we plugged in some lights. And yeah, let's go inside. Okay, so we're now in the space between the rain cover of the tent and the actual tent. It's quite spacious compared to most tents and you've got a lot of room to take off your shoes and jacket and whatever it is that's wet or dirty from going outside. Okay. Wow, you can see the tent is very spacious. It's quite high. You can actually stand up in it. Um, make sure for a comfortable night's sleep, you've got your mattresses and your blankets and your pillows. Uh, when we, uh, this tent in the summers can get quite hot at night. So you've got to get your fan. And there are a couple of other cool features that can help you ventilate your tent. Rohin. Well, so one of the cool features is that there are two doors. One is the small back door that you can take like when you're uh, sleeping over here and it's night time so, so you don't have to go all the way over here so you can just quickly exit from here. And the main door which is the big door which you're actually supposed to enter and enter from. Uh, so it has there's another cool feature. Um, which is called the door nets. They're on both of the doors. They're, they keep the mosquito out. And as he said, it usually gets very hot in here. So these are a good feature to cool it down. It can ventilate your tent. So yeah, they're very nice. And another one is right here. This um, curtain. Uh, when you're changing clothes, you can just take this curtain out so you can change your clothes freely. So, um, tell us about the things that you really need to have a com comfortable night here, Ruan. Um, for a fun night, um, comfortable night, you need mattresses, blankets and pillows. For a fun night, you want your lights to keep the animals away and to stay up late in the night playing games. Because we're next to my house, we have the electricity that we need. We just used a cable extension to uh, plug in our lights and our fan and everything. Um, another cool feature of this tent is the pockets. They can be used to store glasses, gloves, and anything else that basically will fit in them. Um, There's so many of them in the tent yeah so well um to get a, a better fun night you can just you have to you uh, probably will have to take a few video games and board games to have a much funner night so ruan how do you um rate uh, out of five stars um how many stars would you give this tent mm, little picky when I was putting up the rain cover, um, it was a little difficult, so 4.8. Well, I'm much less picky than him, so I just give it a 5 out of 5. So, if you're new here, 
be sure to subscribe, ring the bell and put a like to this video. These are two childhood adventures signing out.